everyone, welcome back to my channel. Following on from last week's What I Wore in a Week video, I did ask you guys if you'd want to see one of these videos on a more regular basis, hopefully a weekly basis. So here I am with the first bonus midweek what I wore in a week video. So you're going to get a full week's worth of outfits and I am starting off in my comfies as per usual. So on top I have got on a colourful standard. This is the unisex oversized sweatshirt I think or it could just be called oversized sweatshirt and this is in the colour ivory I believe but I will link down below in the description box all the exact items if and where possible and then I've got some colourful standard joggers on these are in navy I've also got I've got head to toe colourful standard I've got colourful standard socks on which are also I believe in the shade ivory so that's me in uh, outfit number one of the week I've just got up just got out of bed I'm actually just going to go and do my nails which is what's in that box there and then I'm actually meeting Debs later on this morning for brunch and a bit of a catch-up so I'll be back with my next outfit when I'm ready to head off to Blue Water. Right I am dressed and I need to head off in about five minutes to go and meet Debs so this is the outfit I'm wearing for such an occasion. So on top as my base layer, if you will, underneath, I've got a, it's kind of like an off-white creamy colour t-shirt from Armed Angels. I've got my usual chain necklace on from Majuri and earrings wise, these are the, I think these are called the dome hoops. I think I remember that from the last video from when I was listing it all in the description box. Bag wise, I've got my everyday shoulder bag from the row, and then the blazer is linen blazer from Arquette. This is actually current season, so I'll link that down below as well. The jeans are weekday voyage straight leg jeans. I can't actually remember the leg length option that I've got in these, so I'll check the label and I'll list that down below in the description box. And then I have a pair of New Balance five seven fours on and there we go that is bags falling off that is today's brunching outfit right i am back for one last outfit of monday um so i went out with deb's this morning got back about two o'clock ish and now it is about four o'clock, so I'm gonna head out into the gym, do a bit of an incline walk just to burn off some of those lunch calories. So this is what I am wearing. On top, I've got one of my colorful standard quarter zips on. This is in Hunter Green. Underneath, you won't be able to, uh, won't be able to see properly, but my workout, bra or workout top whatever you want to call it that is from girlfriend collective as are my tights or leggings they're also girlfriend collective and then i've got my new runners on or rather walkers as i like to call them which i featured in the last what i wore in a week video those are of course new balance no surprise there so there we go i will probably pick you guys back up tomorrow morning so that we can start a new day. Good morning, it is now Tuesday. I am up, up and about. Uh, I've just got to do some emails and some boring admin -y type stuff this morning. So I'm more than likely just gonna stay in my sweats until sort of afternoon time, or at least until I've finished doing all my admin -y bits. So on top, I've got the same sweatshirt as I had on yesterday. This is the oversized crew neck sweatshirt in ivory. Bottoms, I have changed today. I've got the, well, these are called Hunter Green, and these are the same sweatpants as I had on yesterday, just in a different color. And also while I'm here, just a little forewarning that towards the end of this video, because we've got a christening on Sunday, I will be trying on some occasion wear and deciding on what to wear. So I think I now have 
five different outfits to choose from so I'll be sharing those probably on Saturday when I get to the point of Saturday so for now for Tuesday morning that is me done good afternoon I finished doing all of my admin bits and we've actually just had a last minute late invitation to go for a lunch with some friends who are in the area so this is what I have got changed into. I'm hoping I'm going to be warm enough in this, although we are going to be inside, so hopefully this will be fine. So underneath my trench, I've got on a wool v-neck jumper. This was from Kos, and I've just basically tucked it in on the front there. Trench-wise, this is the navy one from Kos, which I speak about quite regularly, especially when it comes to spring and autumn videos. I've got some stony colour chinos on from Marks and Spencer. My Ada Uma flats in the cream colour. And then bag-wise, this is a little Lifner tulip tote. And I think this is called the tall tote. So it's basically the one that does fit on your shoulder as a shoulder bag, as opposed to the ones that you can only carry in your hand or on the crook of your arm. So there we go. That is today's outfit. Going to nip out for lunch. So yes. Good morning. It is now Wednesday. Uh, I am changed or up out of bed and changed into my morning loungewear. I've actually just, or well not just, but washed these for the first time, this set. This is the Arquette sort of charcoal, really dark grey. It's actually got quite a vintage, I don't know if you can really see on the screen because it's a little bit creased, but it's got like a vintagey sort of washed out, faded effect to it. But I have just washed these for the first time and as you can see, they're a little bit creased, so I probably need to do a little spot of ironing on these. But for, for loungewear, for comfies, it's all right, isn't it? So this is the set that I spoke about, along with all my other leisure wear and loungewear, in uh, that specific dedicated video. So if anyone wants more information and a more in-depth view of this, you can see it over in that video. But otherwise, that's pretty much first outfit of the day along with some Uniqlo heat tech socks. Good morning everyone it is now Thursday I'm trying to sort of keep my voice a bit low because Simon's still in bed and I don't really want to wake him up but I've come down I always get up earlier than Simon but I've come down to make myself a cup of tea and to just chill out a little bit in the in the peace and quiet and so this is what I have just thrown on. Uh, we are still sleeping upstairs because we haven't fully finished doing paint touch-ups and things. And we're going to repaint our bedroom, which is on the ground floor. So we are still sleeping upstairs. And I must admit, it's been quite nice just being able to nip next door to my dressing room or to my wardrobe just to get changed rather than having to go upstairs every morning. I mean, not that that's much of a schlep, but you know what I mean. So what am I wearing this morning? I've got my cozies on, as you will see. So on top, I have a Pangaea navy hoodie on. This is from the Signature Collection. So it is one of the fleecy ones. Excuse all the dust. Look at it. You can see it flying around. Oh, home renovations. And then on the bottom, these are old men's H&M fleecy joggers. And then I've got some Uniqlo heat tech socks on. Yes, it is still the kind of temperature where I am needing heat tech socks and thick fleecy sweats. Now we are waiting in this morning, I think until the latest about 12 o'clock because we've got a delivery coming for the utility. We've got all of our units and stuff coming. Um, so that's going to be coming your way in a video, hopefully over the next few months. And then after that, we are actually going to be heading out. We're going to go and see my niece um, and go and play in a playground or something that a two year old likes to do. So um, I will come back and show you guys my next outfit. Then. Right, I am back. Um, it is five to twelve. So we're just... Uh, getting ready to head out to go and see my niece. We're going to a, a park, so a little playground where we can all run around and 
completely release our energy and more importantly her energy so this is what i'm wearing a relatively practical outfit i feel so underneath as base layer it is still chilly outside although the sun's just come out so that's nice i have got a t-shirt on underneath this jumper which is from arquette and then the jumper which i have diagonally half tucked is one of the cos ones um, which i featured in that high street cashmere video the trench coat is also cos by far one of my faves the jeans are arquette and then i've also got on some new balance all white leather 550s i thought they'd probably be the most kind of practical with them being leather because i can easily clean those when i get back if i happen to get them dirty and then bag wise this is actually just a little very affordable bag it's made out of nylon from uniqlo apparently they've gone viral on tic tac tic tac <laughs> tic tac I don't have TikTok, who would have thought, eh? Um, but apparently they've gone viral on TikTok, according to Debs. I bought this just because uh, she'd got one and I saw it and I thought it was a really good theme park bag. And so I bought that for a theme park trip in uh, July. And today's the first time I'm using it. I just wanted to use it ahead of my trip so that I could kind of get a feel for it and see how practical it is. I'm probably gonna wear it crossbody because it's got an adjustable strap. So yes, that is, let's just pan back so you can see in full glory today's outfit. Good morning, everyone. It is now Friday. And so this morning's comfy and cozy outfit comprises of, on top, I've got a colorful standard quarter zip. On the bottom, these need a little bit of an iron because they've actually just come out of the wash, but these are the unisex sweatpants from Colourful Standard. And then I've got some Uniqlo Heat Tech socks on, and I've also got on the worst eye masks under eye masks ever, which just keeps slipping off. They're from Bare Minerals and they're the green herbal ones and unless you lie down literally flat, they just slide off your face, especially if you're talking. So yeah, there we go. Now, uh, Simon and I are heading out later because we need to go and pick up a last minute christening gift for this Sunday. So um, I will be back very shortly with my next outfit. Good up, uh, I was gonna say good afternoon. Actually, I don't think it is afternoon. It's still morning, it's 11 o'clock. So I have just got changed again because we need to nip out, as mentioned earlier, to go and get that last minute christening gift. So I've just put relatively comfortable outfit on, but I still feel like presentable, if that makes sense. So on top, I have got this delicious, and it's so thick and chunky, jumper. In fact, I think I wore this in last week's What I Wore in a Week video. Um, this is old from a brand called Lulu Studio. I have whipped out my Celine Trifold, and I don't know if you can really see the colour in full form there, but it's like a beautiful sort of dark tan, like a tobacco kind of colour. And then on the bottom, these trousers are actually elasticated waist and they are a wide leg with a central pleat down the front in navy. They are from Marks and Spencer and just for size information, they are the long length so you can see how long they are on me. In some of their trousers, they also do an extra long, which I think is quite good, but it's quite limited in their range. And then, oh dear, something's going on over there. And then uh, on the bottom, I have got my Converse. These are, you are right over there, Boris? What's the matter? Okay. Uh, these are in the color parchment. Parchment, I'll repeat that because Boris is having a moment. And they are the Chuck 70s. That's Chuck 70. <laughs> He's just going to keep interrupting. So yes, there we go. There is outfit number two for Friday. Hello everyone, it's now Saturday and I'm just gonna come forward and show you. Look at that. We have got the bifolds open for the first time. 
It's actually now afternoon. I've been up this morning just ticking off bits on my to-do list. I have done so much laundry. I'm one of those people that as soon as I see the sun come out, I just do as much laundry as I've sort of got so that I can just get it all outside and get it naturally dry. So yeah, I got up this morning, saw the sun was shining and just got dressed straight away. I didn't put any sweats on or anything. So this is what I've been wearing for the morning whilst cracking on with my to-do list on top. Just got a basic black t-shirt on. This is quite a boxy and oversized fit, although I do believe I sized up in this. This is from Organic Basics, and I think it's actually called their boxy t-shirt, and it's from their organic cotton range. On the bottom, they're kind of like a cargo trouser, but without the side pocket. So maybe a, a chino, but with just extra sort of seams. And these are in a creamy color from Marks and Spencer. And the best thing about these is, They've got a little elasticated bit at the back, so they're good for lunch, good for snacking and eating. And these are from M&S, and I also have them in, they've got them in like a really nice light khaki colour. And then footwear, these are Birkenstock Big Buckles. The reason they're called Big Buckles is because they have a larger buckle. And yeah, that's it. So we've actually got a christening tomorrow, and I need to try on some dresses which I have bought. I think I've bought five. No, I bought four and then I already had one that I kind of had as a new summer dress. So I need to try all those on and decide on the one that I will be keeping and wearing tomorrow. So I think a little bit later on today, I'm gonna to do a little bit of a try on for you guys and I'll go through and just see sort of which dress I'm gonna wear for tomorrow. So those are the outfits, outfits that you will see next. Right, time for that occasion wear try on because I need to decide on this outfit for tomorrow. Because if I leave it until tomorrow, I'll get myself in a bit of a flap. And yeah, I just need to decide today. And I also then need to do my nails, uh, hands and toes. And that's gonna depend, color is gonna depend on the dress. So this was option number one, or rather this was my first original option. And I wasn't actually gonna buy anything else because I'd got this and in my head I was like, yep, that's what I'm gonna wear. I'm not really an occasion person. My only kind of criteria is that I'm able to wear the item again because I just don't like buying stuff that is like a one hit wonder. So this I actually thought would double up as a summer dress. Like I could wear this with my Chanel dad sandals and it would just be, you know, a slightly nicer summer dress. So this dress is from Arquette. It's like a very, very pale lemony yellow. It's long sleeved. And this is one of the reasons why this was my original option because the weather, as most of you will know who live in the UK, has not particularly been very spring-like this year. And I was unsure as to how the weather was gonna be performing as we got closer and closer to this christening. As it turns out, and you would have seen this morning, the weather has very much started to perk up for this bank holiday weekend. So I'm thinking that tomorrow is gonna be a very similar weather to today. It's gonna be much nicer than I originally thought. So my practicality option of long sleeves and a long sort of length in the dress is not necessarily 100% needed. So if I could just give you a little, thank you, Bella. Bella, thank you. Sorry for that musical interlude from Bella. If I can just give you a little practicality side note about the dress. Underneath, I have had to buy a very basic nude, I say nude, it's not particularly skin colour, but it is a nudie colour, uh, slip dress to go underneath because this dress is so see-through. If I were to try this on without the slip dress, you would just see everything underneath. Now, the problem with the slip dress is that, as you can see here, this is quite a deep, a deep V neckline, but because it's a christening, I'm trying to be a little bit more conservative, so I've done up the top little tie there. You can see the nude 
slip dress through there and I don't know I just feel like that bothers me a little bit so I might have to do some altering going forward just wearing this dress in general I might have to do some altering to this little slip dress so that that can not be visible and then also if I were to raise my arms which I don't know I don't know if I'll be doing that during a christening but it then rises up and you can see the slip dress underneath. So again, I'll probably have to take up that slip dress so it's a little bit shorter and not as long so that if I do do any extreme movements, you can't see it. But there we go, that was option number one and I don't actually think this is gonna be an option now just because of the nice weather, but it's a new dress in my wardrobe nonetheless. On to options number two, three, and four. So when I was at Blue Water on Monday with Debs, I, once we sort of had our lunch and had our catch up, I went back to the car, then realized I needed a wee. So went back in and then nipped into Marks and Spencers quickly and saw a nobody's child area or concession within M&S. And I saw some dresses and I thought, do you know what? I haven't got time to try them on because I did need to get home. It was a bit time sensitive, but I thought these are some nice dresses. So I picked up three, didn't try them on, just got what I thought was my size. As it turns out, they are the right size, which is a UK 10. And thought I will try them on at home. And if they don't fit or if there's one or several that I don't like, I can just return them. So this is the first Nobody's Child dress, which I picked up. It is green with little white and purple like lilac flowers it's very feminine it's not the sort of thing that I would wear you know on a daily basis this for me is very special occasion wear the sort of thing that I will just whip out for just occasions so that's kind of something that I need to take into consideration with all of these dresses is that obviously if it's just going to be an occasion wear dress I need it to be something that I will hopefully wear again for another occasion, another christening or wedding or whatever. And this is not the sort of thing that I would wear unlike the Arquette dress that I would wear that during the summer as just a day dress. Now it's a midi length and it's got like a nice, it's cut on the bias I would say. And then it's got a bit of froof up here in the shoulder, a bit of volume and a bit of frill. So there are quite a lot of feminine elements going on. Um, but one thing I will say is the fabric is really nice and Nobody's Child is quite um, a conscious, eco-friendly brand. And it's just, I don't know, it's nice and lightweight, doesn't feel like polyester heavy where I'm gonna get really sweaty. There's a decent amount of room under the arms, which is something I always look for in occasion where I hate things that cut in under the arms. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. So that is Nobody's Child dress number one. And then the shoes, which I actually did just have on a minute ago with the Arquette dress. These are just my by far Tanya mules, which are in nude patent. And then I've also got on a little pearl anklet there as well. That's from Arquette. Right, nobody's child option number two. I actually think this is the exact same dress because it's got the same puffy and frilly sleeves, the same little like teeny tiny peplum at the waist. And then there's no split at the bottom, whereas the third option does have a split and it looks slightly different up top. So I think this is the same as the first, the green Nobody's Child dress. Anyway, this one was a bit of a rogue option because this is by far the most color I have worn in some years, let me tell you. Now, uh, color is not really my, my thing, neither is florals or prints, excuse that noise, it's the uh, dishwasher just finishing up. So yeah, this was a bit of a gamble and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take it home, I'm going to try it on and I'm going to see how truly wretched I feel when wearing it. If it's a low level, then it's sort of in contention. If it's high, then it's an absolute no. And whilst, yeah, this would not be the sort of thing that I would wear on a daily basis at all, I don't feel horrific in it. I mean, the dresses are really nicely made, as I said, with regards to the green one, the fabric is really nice. It's super light and floaty. So I think this just basically comes down to color and pattern and what I feel most importantly, most comfortable in. 
um, with regards to like confidence. So yeah, this is the second option. I'm pretty sure this is at like the bottom of the pile, to be honest. And then these are the shoes, which have still got the tags on because I bought these while I was out with Debs. And this is by far the highest pair of heels, again, that I have worn in some time. I bought them as a backup option in case my by far ones were not really what I was looking for. So I'm sort of still undecided on the shoes, but these were from Mango. And this is Nobody's Child Dress option number three, which is by far my favorite of the bunch. So it's black. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Now we can see why it's my favourite of the bunch. And the print is the same as on the green flowery one. So it's these white and lilac flowers with little bits of, I think that's yellow, yellowy green. But the dress itself is actually slightly different. Whilst it's very much the same shape, has a slightly sort of empire line. And um, it's actually got a little, shoop, I don't know what that's called, but it sort of shapes the bust a little bit more. But it is pretty much the same sort of style of midi. This one actually has a little split, not too high, just goes up to the knee so it's not massively inappropriate. And then the sleeves have got this sort of sheared, elasticated effect, or not effect, detail, should I say, fit on there. Um, they've still got a little bit of ruffle, but no frill that goes over the shoulder, just a bit of poof for a bit of volume in the sleeve. So yeah, that is the third option. And can I just say, I almost just broke my neck walking off in those other shoes, the ones from Mango. So they're a hard pass. They're a solid no. I'm gonna go back to my old faithful by far Tanya mules because they've got a block heel, they're mid height, they're just the best and they're not new. So do you know what? That's probably the best option all round anyway. Um, but yes, dress wise, this is a fourth option in total. And actually I have a blazer that I could show you guys, which was uh, an option of mine for wearing over the top of a dress. So this has literally just arrived, which is why I've still got the stringy thing that joins through. And this is actually, my newest blazer with the curated and it's linen. So I haven't steamed it yet. I've literally just whipped it straight out of the packaging and just popped it on just to see as a blazer over a dress option. I do not think I'm gonna need a blazer at all tomorrow, but this is not offensive. And if it were to get a bit chilly, if the weather were to dramatically change from, you know, between now and tomorrow, then, I mean, let's face it, I have ample blazers as options, but this linen one at least is kind of quite spring appropriate. And I just wanted to show you guys as well, because it just arrived and I'm very excited about it because we've been wanting to do a linen one for ages. And finally, option number five, which I have immediately vetoed. This I actually bought from H&M and I just bought this as like a summer dress. It's quite, it's actually quite heavy. There's a lot of fabric to it, um, but it's a creamy color. It's got these really big voluminous sleeves and it's got this detail on the sleeves, like embroidery detail with little cutouts here and there. It's got quite a deep V, but I think because of the long sleeves and the length of the dress as a whole, that doesn't seem like much of an issue, if you know what I mean. And I don't really have a cleavage, so um, I don't think there'd be any problem with that. It's got a high empire waist and then it's not particularly fitted. It's quite loose. I mean, if I were to cinch it into my actual waist size there, see it's quite voluminous, which is why I liked it as a summer dress. I just thought it'd be a really good baggy option especially look at this it's not even remotely fitted over the waist so if you're going to be eating which is why I was considering this as tomorrow's christening dress because there is a buffet and I'm not an athlete but if I were my sport would be the 100 meter buffet I love a buffet I will limber up for a buffet and I will go hard to that buffet. And so this to me 
is an excellent buffet dress because you can just conceal all the buffet under there. Now, I vetoed this because it almost feels a little bit like I'm a clergy member. It almost feels like I'm wearing religious robes. And I think in a sort of day-to-day -day situation with a pair of flat sandals and summer accessories, etc., that would be perfectly appropriate. But to me, it just feels like there's a bit too much fabric. It's a bit too light. And yeah, I just feel like some sort of clergy person. If clergy is even the right word, I have no idea. I'm not religious at all, so I couldn't, <laughs> I could just be making this up. But yeah, that's, that was option number five until I actually tried it on and was like, that's not an option at all. Right, it's Sunday and I am dressed and ready to head off to this christening. So here is the dress which I decided on. It is, of course, the Nobody's Child black floral one. And then I went for my by far Tanya Mules, which are nude and patent, patent sorry. Um, and then a little anklet, pearl anklet from Arquette. I have got my vintage Chanel classic flap. This is a small size for anyone that's wondering. Uh, earrings wise, my hair is very voluminous. I used rollers for the first time and it is huge. Um, earrings are, these are the Majuri dome hoops and then I do have my little Majuri chain on there as well. So I am now ready to head off. So we are just about to leave. And this will probably be the last outfit of the week because it's going to be an all day thing today and we're probably going to get back quite late. So I will bid you all farewell here. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time.